This is Jay on LA. Today I have a bunch of topics I want to talk about. First of all, let's talk about the city as a city. We relate very well to sports in our city. Dodgers, champions, Lakers, champions, Clippers, almost champions. How about we relate how our city officials are doing with our city? Last place. That's right, last place. And in any last place team, given the opportunity, we would probably trade all or most of the players. These players have taken our city down to what certainly appears to be a third world city. Homicides at a record pace. Shootings at a record pace. Graffiti out of control. Homelessness. Out of control, no plan, completely denigrating our city. I can go on. You walk around the city, storefronts are empty. Now, storefronts that aren't empty, Ralph's, Vons, all the local stores are boarding up because of the elections coming up. And what is our city doing to make people feel comfortable? They issue a statement saying, we're on it. The police will guarantee things will be calm, elections will be terrific. Do you believe them? Do you believe anything they say? If their lips are moving, they're lying. You know that, right? We've seen that with everything they do. Now we have a mayor who's embroiled in sexual harassment by a police officer uh, on his detail who has made claims that the mayor was involved in seeing things that went on. They're trying to do a depot on him. Mr. Mayor, if you saw something, say something. Isn't that what we say about crime and terrorism? And isn't sexual harassment terrorism? And if you didn't see anything, then go to the deposition and say, I didn't see anything. But if something was done, we as neighborhood council members, elected volunteers, are mandated to take all these trainings and sign all of these documents, codes of civility, codes of conduct, sexual harassment, uh, ethics, you know, non-competition, everything we sign. And then all we read is that our elected officials are ducking their responsibility. So, Mr. Mayor, be up front. Go tell them what you know or don't know and get it out of the press. Stop making our city look terrible. And on a national note, we're coming to elections. Have we turned our country into a third world country where now we have to board up all of our stores, beef up police protection, close Rodeo Drive, put cement K rails out to keep people from shopping and board up every window because we're electing a president? This is the most absurd thing I've ever seen in my life. Couple that with the lack of stimulus protection for the people who need it the most. So while all these jokers are out there in the federal government pointing fingers at each other, the Dems hate the Republicans, the Republicans hate the Dems, the independents aren't quite sure who they hate, the reality is the guy on the street is getting screwed every day. So how about this as a quick solution? All federal elected officials get no pay and they don't get it back when they actually pass a bill but no pay until they do a stimulus bill that will help the everyday person get through everyday life election day is coming up please vote doesn't matter who you vote for but vote it's it's your right to vote but it's a privilege to be able to vote your vote counts. Don't believe it doesn't count. But get out and vote. See you next week.